you do this, yeah. you're not going to, you move your whole body over, and, so it's going to be leg and, because if you go like this, you keep your center of gravity almost the same. And it's all about moving your center of gravity. So at this uh, point, Mario's in his bee suit. He's got to fly up to this next level. He's trying to get to the queen bee right now. When he's in his bee suit, he can actually jump onto these flowers and land on them and be fine. Like regular Mario will actually destroy the flower, so only the light bee can be on it. So he can fly the next flower and then pass these worker bees who are collecting honey. So now he's come to a big star right here. These launch you to different areas. So if he goes next to it and shakes his remote, he'll be launched and that gets him to the next little plant area. This one has a black hole as well. While you're a bee Mario, you can't touch water, so he's gonna wanna fly from lily pad to lily pad. Go ahead and get next to that and shake. Open that up and grab another bee suit. Now go to this daisy over here, back here. Now you're gonna go ahead and shake the remote when you're next to it. Now fly and get up on one of these flowers. So now you can fly that. these other flowers, keep going to your right or that middle one, that's fine. You go to your right. I'll collect some of those for you. Remember, don't get hit by the water. And then go to this top one up here. Fly all the way up there. Okay. So now you're at the base of the plant that the queen bee's on. So you can go over here, you can climb up these honeycombs if you fly up and just stick to it. So now you've met the queen. She doesn't really care who you are, she's just really itchy. So you're gonna run over and fly onto her. Now you're gonna crawl around. You see these little pieces? Yeah, you're gonna collect all those. On certain worlds, you're gonna have to try and find those types of pieces in order to get one of those stargates made that'll launch you to the next level. Go find that gate over here. It's back over there. Now you found the grand star. So for this little level, this is the, the end part. You're trying to collect all the grand stars that have been scattered around. So you got that and you've now ended that level. So Metroid Prime 3 Corruption, Samus is you know back in the thick of fighting things and has a new suit, a Phazon suit. And uh, the whole term Corruption is involved with a new ability she has called Hyper Mode. The problem with this is if she goes too far with it and injects too much of this Phazon, she'll end up corrupting. This is a cool area that actually uses a lot of the grapple and uh, hanging and shooting. Um, I don't know if you had a chance to play it before, but there's a lot of tactile feel with the way the Wii, Wii Remote works, where you'll open doors by actually grabbing, twisting, pulling, and then pressing back in, pushing levers, pressing buttons, and things like that, using the actual Wii Remote to do so. And the cool thing about the lock-on in this game is that you just lock onto the character and you can strafe around it, but you can still aim anywhere. If you just want to go like that, flip your wrist up, you can go ahead and jump them up there, then hit the A button and do your bomb. Grapple, you go ahead and hit the Z button. If you look up, oh, okay, it has your okay. grapple spot, so you're going to go grapple. Keep that held down. Now you got to blast those doors coming up. So it's kind of a cool little roller coaster Samus gets to go on while shooting her way through it. They've uh, reworked how the visor works too. I don't know if you noticed that. Let's flick up, now let go. Now you're into your scan visor mode. And there's a few different visors, so instead of having to scroll through anything, you can just hit that, go ahead and flick to it, and then all you have to do is shoot to get out of it. You found the Steam Lord, the dreaded Steam Lord. A lot of people are going to have problems fighting bosses who don't, don't like to uh, think or, or would rather not do anything but shoot. It's right above you. Oh.